Hi everyone, welcome to the 77th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about the binning with Python. So, what does binning mean? Binning means bucketing the different values of a particular column into different bucket or into a bins. So, there are times in which the numerical or the continuous variables like the columns which has continuous data will not help such as the traffic signals if you take the count of the traffic signal for each and every minute and each and every second then it will not help you to get the overall overall analysis rather if you can group it like the traffic in the morning traffic in the afternoon evening midnight so you can get a like uh, meaningful uh, insights from the data so what we will do in our example we will take a uh, salary data set and we will club the uh, different uh, bucket like how many people are below 10,000, above 10,000, above 25 and then we will uh, create a, a, like insights from that and we'll uh, generate a bar plot. So first we'll see how we will how we can create the event. So as usual we will import the pandas data set and we have the salary data set so we'll say that df is equals to pd dot read underscore csv and the name of the data set is salary dot csv execute this if you if you see the df dot head okay we have only one column id and the applicant income so we are interested into the we are interested in the applicant income so what we'll do here so in order to like uh, we'll create our bins then since it is equals to we'll create the cat uh, list zero then zero to ten thousand then 25,000, 50,000, and 1 lakh. Okay, so this is our pen followed by the labels. What it should be termed as medium, standard, and high. So these are the categories of the See, there are five pins, but the number of labels will be four because 0 to 10,000 will be one. 10,000 to 25 will be second, 25,000 to 50,000 will be the third, and 50,000 to 1 lakh will be the fourth. Okay. We'll execute and we'll also create the execute code. Now, what we'll do, we'll create the column which is like applicant pin, applicant income, underscore pin, which is equal to, we have to use pt dot cut, followed by then we need to put the things to execute this our df is like created and we can see here df dot we can see our different values of others is created and how we can get the count this applicant income bin is nothing but this 5849 is a salary of a person in dollars suppose so it belongs to this range 4583 belongs to 0 to 10,000 and similarly 12841 belongs to the range of 10,000 to 25 we give df dot tail this is also working we need to we will certainly print this pd dot value counts and we will print df and we will execute this so we get the values between 0 to 10,000 we have 567 counts from uh, 10,000 25,000 we have 46 counts and 25,000 50,000 is 4 and 50,000 to 1 lakh is 3. How do we visualize this? So for that what we'll do we'll create a category category categories is equals to pd dot cut pf application will give uh, levels. So this will give df dot head now what we'll do df dot df uh, categories dot value counts okay now uh, what I did was I didn't include it label is equal to label because of which this 0 to 10,000 was coming and this 0 to 10,000 was not getting replaced by low. Even if you see this pf dot head uh, 20. So now all the values is getting replaced properly. And this is a quite a good uh, R&D which we have done. 
we have so what we have done we have created the df we have created the pins we have created labels and then we have created the like we have shown how pins can how this column will be created from 0 to 10,000 all this after that we have created a categories for 0 to 10,000 it will be replaced by low and uh, 10,000 20,000 25,000 it will be replaced by medium and then we have we have given this we have categories this is nothing but the categories how low is 567 medium is 46 standard is 4 and high is 3 now if you want to visualize it is very simple we have categories dot value underscore counts simple then followed by plot and then you give kind is equals to bar h and execute this so we get the exact representation or the uh, exact representation of our data which is not uh, uniformly distributed for low the count is much much higher and whereas the high it is in, in the very like it's in a single digit the lower side of a single digit so in this way we can use pen and get the insight and how is the distribution of our data and also the like and also plot it so if you like the session please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video thank you